Hey, this is Matthias Dringer with the Jack Control, and today you're going to be learning how to play arpeggios and line cliché using simple chords. It's a really, really cool um, uh, technique to use in your playing, and you're going to enjoy it a lot. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily guitar lessons, and there's a link in the description. Click on it, you're going to get the tab so you can follow along with this video. Let's get down to it. All right, so let's pick a simple chord. Let's pick something like an A minor. Everybody knows it. If you don't know it by any chance, let me show you. You put your middle finger on the uh, second fret of the fourth string, okay? Then your index finger on the second fret of the third string, index finger on the first fret of the second string. Just like that. Now, what we're going to do, check it out. The idea of this is that you maintain the same progression, but the bass is changing, okay? I mean, there, and one of the, actually, the idea of a line cliche is that one of the tones change what the rest remains, okay? Sometimes that could be the bass, sometimes that could be an upper note, but uh, most of the time when you play a line cliche, the tones, the, uh, the chord remains the same, but there's one tone that is changing progressively like up or down. For example, the famous one. I think there's a famous song by uh, my funny Valentine. Something like that, but uh, of course the most famous one I was, I was just playing Star Wars to her. Right? So as you can see, kind of like these two tones are like staying constantly, but then the bass and the higher note is like moving, right? So how can we apply that here? Let's say, for example, that we play this, and let's say that we have an arpeggio, super simple. We have fifth with our thumb, then with our other fingers here, we're playing the third, second, and first. So, just like that. Fifth, third, second, first, second, third. Practice that. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take um, our fifth string and we're actually going to not play that one and we're going to put a pinky right there on the third fret of the sixth string. So. Got it? Check out what we're going to do after. We're going to... The idea is that we're going like this. Okay? So how can we do it? We're here so far, then we're here. Now what we're going to do, since we're not using the fourth string, I'm going to remove this one right here, because I'm not using it right now in this case, and I'm going to bring it right there into the second fret of the sixth string. And check it out. I could either move this here, or I could just invert this one with this one, like this. So. Whatever is moving. Probably if I am during the recording, I'm doing something similar to this. I'm probably going to just move it like this because it's going to sound smoother. So you got to see the situation and see what's happening in the song and see what's more convenient for you to play. It's not always, it's not always like, okay, no, that's wrong finger. You, you shouldn't be doing that. That doesn't exist in music or in the guitar world. It's you play and you use the fingers or you use the shapes depending on what is more convenient to you and what's going to improve uh, the playing. So in this case, this sounds, this is probably going to be much smoother than this. Because right there, I already have to change fingers. But anyway, so keeping the same, same shape, what we're going to do, we're going to take it up this time. We're going to go into the second fret of the fifth, into the third fret, and then into the open fourth. Pretty cool, right? Now we can do the same thing with other chords like the C major, for example. We can just grab the C major and we can do something as simple as this. Um, we're going to use the same combination, okay? Fifth. Third, second, first, second, third. 
if you don't know the C major, ring on the third fret of the fifth string, middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and index finger on the first fret of the second string. So let's do that. Then play the open fourth, the second fret on the fourth, third fret on the fourth. And we can also bring it down. We can start on the fifth, bring it down to the second fret, to the open right there. Pretty cool, right? And it's a really cool technique. You can apply it to many, many chords. Um, what I want you to do, I want you to pick many chords. Let's say pick a, an E minor and C, explore the possibilities. You know, right now I'm only showing you also uh, open chords. They're easy, but maybe it doesn't even have to, the bass have to be the one that moves. Maybe we're playing an E minor and we're like, Maybe this is the, the, the note that's moving is, is um, the one in the middle right here on the fourth string. And you go, you move it to the first fret, open. There you go. Or you move it up maybe, right? Pretty cool. You can, um, uh, you can even go into more complex chords like this ones. And it sounds really, really cool. And there you have it. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, it's a really, really useful technique. I think you're going to be very inspired by this. And what I suggest is that you try this technique in combination with other stuff that I showed you, like uh, inversions and triads or drop two and all those things. Try them like really high. It's really, really cool if you do. You know, I always am playing something like, try it here, like. Just moving one note, right? Or like a simple D major, just move it up. And put it. And it already makes it sound much more epic. But anyways, as usual, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily guitar lessons. There's a link in the description. Uh, click on it, tap on it, whatever you want. But you're going to get the tab and it's going to be super useful for this video. So make sure you do that. Uh, one thing I would love to know, what is your favorite arpeggio to play on guitar? What is your favorite arpeggio and chord? Leave your answer down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching.